I was reading the um, Telegraph yesterday, reflecting on the Pope's visit to the UK, and after some of his statements that he made about the UK being a secular country, um, a country without God in many ways, um, which I obviously applaud because that's where we should be. Um, now, on the back of that, to see the Pope crumbling in this, uh, in this way is quite amusing to me. Um, it's quite obvious that he is he is really bugged by the secular movement, and the atheist movement here in the UK, um, which is obviously again music to my ears. Uh, but it's p p pushing that aside. Um, obviously, not my friends on here are atheists anyway. Um, but what the Pope elaborated on the fact, and not just the Pope said this, but his um, his speakers who f for the Pope said that. Um, the Pope kind of admitted that obviously with evolution that they, that they now accept, obviously all of it mind you, that we come from an ape-like creature, the whole foundation of the thought around Adam and Eve is somewhat in question and kind of no longer accepted pretty much at the hierarchy of the Catholic Church. Therefore, surely you have to accept then that uh, the whole foundation of Adam and Eve, original sin, has collapsed to its knees. Therefore, the whole foundation of Christianity is absolutely dead. Um, well, what can I say? Uh, that's what they've admitted. The hierarchy of the Catholic Church, um, often under the umbrella of Christianity, has accepted this notion that there was probably no Adam and Eve. Um, therefore, no original sin. Therefore, no Jesus required to come back and save us from our sins. And like I said, this video title, Christianity is on its knees. Um, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not for a second going to think, that's it. All Christians are going to go and become secular or atheists, etc. Um, <sighs> amazing. Uh, yeah. But I'm going to play a little video for you now. That kind of sums this up, the whole Pope thing, and nice to see the way he was losing it, the first statement he makes, instead of coming here and saying, oh, here I am with my glory and Catholic, he actually, targ <laughs> he actually targeted, and it's pretty much kind of a defensive mechanism. I mean, almost a sense like he just put his hand up and admitted defeat. Um, that's, what, that's what it looks like. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to bang on, I've just been recovering from a, a flu-like uh, thing, virus. So, anyway, a little video for you now that I think you'll find quite amusing. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks again, Lars. Fuck the motherfucker, fuck the motherfucker, fuck the motherfucker, he's a fucking motherfucker. Fuck the motherfucker, fuck the fucking fucker, fuck the motherfucker, he's a total fucking fucker. Fuck the motherfucker, fuck the motherfucker, fuck the motherfucker, fucking fuck the motherfucker. Fuck the motherfucker, fuck the motherfucking pope. Fuck the motherfucker and fuck you, motherfucker, if you think that motherfucker is safe. Fuck it, motherfucker. If you cover for another motherfucker who's a kitty, fucker, fuck you, you're no better than the motherfucking rapist. And if you don't like the swearing that this motherfucker falls from me and reckon it shows moral or intellectual falsity, then fuck you, motherfucker, this is language one employs when one is fucking cross about fucking smoking boys. I don't give a fuck if calling the Pope a motherfucker ain't too unthinkingly brandy and I'm thinking at what stage this has now to do with other fucking godly motherfuckers. I'm not interested right now in fucking scriptural debate. There are other fucking songs and there are other fucking ways. I'll be a religious apologist on other fucking days. And the fact remains, if you protect a single kitty fucker, then Pope or Prince or Plumber, you're a fucking motherfucker. You see, I don't give a fuck what any other motherfucker believes about Jesus and his motherfucking mother. I've no problem with the spiritual beliefs of all these fuckers, while those beliefs don't impact on the happiness of others. But if you build a church on planes of fucking moral authority and with threats of hell impose it on others in society, then you, you motherfuckers, can expect some fucking wrath when it turns out you've been fucking us in our motherfucking asses. So fuck the motherfucker and fuck you, motherfucker, if you're still a motherfucking apist. If he covered for a single motherfucker who's a kitty fucker, fuck the motherfucker, he's as evil as the rapist. And if you look into your motherfucking heart and tell me true, if this motherfucking Stupid fucking song offended you with its filthy fucking language and its fucking disrespect. If it made you feel angry, go ahead and write a letter. But if you find me more offensive than the fucking possibility of Pope protected priests when they were getting fucking fiddly, then listen to me, motherfucker. This here is a fact. You are just as morally misguided as that motherfucking power. I'll be self aggrandized bigger than the stupid fucking man. Fuck the motherfucker. Fuck the motherfucker. Fuck the motherfucker. 
on the last note before I go. The Pope said, of all these thousands, 30 plus thousand cases, these priests that have been um, causing child abuse, rape of an innocent person, um, not all of them were actual raping children, but just touching children inappropriately. I'm sorry, but that's sick and, in my sense, evil. You don't ever touch another human being in that manner and raping someone of their innocence. What more can I say? The whole foundation of Catholicism should come to its knees. The Pope needs to step down immediately and accept responsibility and hand himself in to the police for the sake of innocent children. Thank you very much again for your support. Thanks for watching. Lots. Fuck the motherfucker, fuck the motherfucker, fuck the motherfucker, he's a fucking motherfucker. Fuck the motherfucker, fuck the fucking fucker, fuck the motherfucker, he's a total fucking fucker. Fuck the motherfucker, fuck the motherfucker.